Who is the rider of the white horse in Revelation chapter 6 verse 2? Is this the Antichrist? That's what some Christians think. So the first rider on the horse is the coming of the Antichrist. However, this is not the only view of the identity of the rider of the white horse. There's another view which many Christians around the world accept, which is more biblical. That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. But before I do that, I want to thank all of my viewers for supporting my channel. Your support helps keep my channel going to reach more people with the gospel. If you haven't supported my channel yet but you would like to, you can make a one-time PayPal donation or a monthly pledge on Patreon. By the way, some of the benefits you get by becoming a patron include early video previews for just $3 a month. That way, you can watch my videos before everyone else and leave a comment. The more you pledge, the more benefits you get as well, like direct communication with me. I will provide you with my email address and you can email me directly and get a quick response. We can also chat on Patreon and I also do some giveaways from time to time and more. Click on the links in the video description to my PayPal or Patreon account to donate. Back to my video. Now I'm going to talk about the first horse and its rider mentioned in Revelation chapter 6 verse 2. It says, And I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. The rider of this horse is probably one of the easiest to identify because Revelation chapter 19 verses 11 through 13 practically comes out and tells us who it is. It says, And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Jesus is the rider of the white horse. The fact that the horse is white represents the purity of the early church. And the crown which is given to the rider and his successful conquest symbolizes the rapid spread of the gospel in early church history. After the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and preaching of the gospel in Acts chapter 2, verse 41 says, Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And this was in one day. And in just over 30 years, Paul wrote in Colossians chapter 1 verse 23 that the gospel was preached to every creature which is under heaven. Also, notice that the weapon that the rider of the white horse has is a bow. This represents the word of God. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 9 says, Thy bow was made quite naked, according to the oaths of the tribes, even thy word. Selah, thou didst cleave the earth with rivers. And what is shot out of a bow? Arrows. In the context of God's word, that represents the arrows of conviction which are sent forth by the Holy Spirit to pierce the guilty conscience of the sinner. When the gospel was preached to the Jews during the Feast of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2, verse 37 says, Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? To prick means to make a small hole in something with a sharp point or to pierce slightly. It's no coincidence that the Bible uses the word prick here when talking about the Jews being convicted by God's word because that's what an arrow does when you shoot something with it. The rider on the white horse in Revelation chapter 6 verse 2 is not the Antichrist. It's Jesus Christ. Jesus is depicted in a similar way in Revelation chapter 19, riding a white horse. The crown for the rider of the white horse symbolizes the conquest of the gospel in early church history as it spread rapidly. And the bow is a symbol for the word of God, which brings conviction to sinners. 
Does this make sense to you? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, this video was made from a clip of a previous video of mine entitled, Who are the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse? Click on the screen to watch the full video to learn the identity of the other three horsemen. Please also like and share this video to help spread God's word. Thank you for watching and God bless you.